Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Burser, here at TKK Fire Station, getting ready for Firehouse Story Time. This week's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. Now, of course, Fernando, you're beside me. You do what here? I'm a firefighter. Currently at Station 2, but at the beginning of the month, I'll be a firefighter at Station 1. I'll be transferring over on the ladder truck. Fantastic. And what's your name? I'm Eli, and I'm a firefighter. I'm on Ladder 1 here at TK. Wow. And you? Uh, my name's Stan. I'm the engineer. I'm on the uh, the ladder truck. Fantastic. I'm Bobby. I'm a firefighter EMT on Engine 2 at Station 2. So this event, first of all, would you say it was a success? I hope so. I think uh, the smiles on the kids say it all, for sure. I think so, too. They were so engaged with what they were learning. What was the plan in terms of teaching today? We, to get them engaged, for sure, to get them out here and meet the firefighters um, when there's not an emergency, because oftentimes we don't have time to go out to the community and socialize when there's an emergency, because we have a job and a mission to accomplish, but this is to get the community involved and come on out and meet us on a more personal level, they, so they can see our faces, see our names, and recognize that we're just people, just like them, you know, yes. with just our coats on, so that, that's what it's about. And when you put your firefighting equipment on, you don't look like people. You look like maybe something I would see somewhere else. In a movie. In a movie, exactly. And so something like this, first of all, you chose a book. How did you choose the book? I actually had help from a PR lady down in uh, North Charleston. She said, hey, this is the book for you. Because I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was going to see Three Little Pigs or Dr. Seuss, my favorite. So right. uh, keep it fire safety and related to fire. So that's, that's how we went with it. So that's kind of the parameter. You want to teach fire safety. Why is it so important that kids understand the importance of maybe having an exit plan? I saw that today. It's honestly a, a really big thing and not a lot of people have exit plans that um, you know that they don't know about and uh, getting the kids engaged gets parents engaged and gets everyone engaged. Uh, uh, tell me about it. And uh, it's always it's always good practice. Um, we go over having a meeting spot, having an exit plan, what to do and what not to do and it's, it's a benefit for everyone. It makes our job a little easier um, and we can account for everybody when we arrive to a fire. Well, so you read a book you talk about an exit plan. You give the kids an opportunity to actually see what a fire truck is all about, the function of each thing on the fire truck. Were there any surprises today? I mean, kids are full of surprises, but any unexpected questions or actions? It's every time you uh, do these with the kids in the uh, community, you never know what you're really going to get. Uh, the kids are great. Nothing out of the ordinary, really, but they all got a really good jump and. They, they love seeing me uh, climb up the ladder. Oh, there was, that, I liked seeing you way yeah. at the top. Coming down seemed harder. It is, it's always a little harder. And but, how uh, high is it? 77 feet. What about um, just freedom to kind of get in and explore the interior of the fire truck? I saw kids sitting up there behind the big steering wheel. Yeah, um, we always try and show the kids the, you know, the fire apparatus and stuff like that, you know, get them in the driver's seat, get them in the passenger seat up front, show them the back, because oftentimes, you know, kids are sometimes scared of the fire trucks making the big loud noises. So, you know, our ultimate goal is to get them to not be afraid. This is uh, such a great idea. You're going to do more of these. Yes. Why is it so important to stay connected with the community? Well, like, usually we show up and we're too busy to interact with the kids. We're, we're checking smoke alarms or doing a 360 of the house. So with this, we reach out to the little ones and that's where I think we need to start. Because, you know, maybe one day in 15 years they'll want to volunteer somewhere. You never exactly. know. And exactly. And they'll remember this. Or maybe when they get married and they have kids, they'll bring them to the fire station. So we, we have an open door policy. Anybody can pull up any time of the day and come on in. We love to have kids in. We usually have popsicles or something for them. And then we walk around and they want to look at one truck or they want to see an air pack put on or something like that. Ah, that is just the best. And you've also got future plans for different organizations to come in and experience what it's like and who, what you're all about. Right. We're going to reach out to the uh, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts and the Girl Scouts and see if they want to spend the night at the fire station, camp in the bay, mm -hmm. have a little fire pit, depends on what time of year it is, mm -hmm. and uh, just to connect more with more people and what the kids connect, but then they're also going to push their parents to find a safety spot and do the Edith drill and we'll have some literature next time for that. And uh, it just uh, shows the parents too that we're more than just a big truck mm -hmm. and we're coming to see. So when they see us, you know, sitting on the front porch having a, a Coke or something, they know that we're ready to work. We're not yes. just laying around. 
Yes, so they've got an idea. Yeah, and we're 24-7. We work 24 hours on and 48 off every third day. You're going to continue to do this? How often? Once a month. So far the plan is once a month to the end of the year and hopefully we can develop new ideas and create new activities to incorporate it to where it's a great thing for the community. Well that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you'd like to see more beautiful homes in our area simply go to homesfortmill.com. You can also check out past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. Until next time, stay safe. This is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.